Here we have a 2000 to 2005 Buick LeSabre. In this video, we're going over the top five problems for this vehicle. Number one, the intake gaskets. So here's where the intake is. Down here, this is the intake plenum, and then you have the lower intake as well. Now, if you look at this one, you can actually see there is oil leaking. Now, you may find that the intake leaks oil, you may find that it leaks coolant, and sometimes they leak internally and the oil mixes with the coolant, which is not good at all. When you take off the plenum or the upper intake, you want to pay close attention to where the coolant goes through the plenum. Sometimes that area is cracked, so you're better off just replacing the plenum. And also there's coolant tubes right down here. There's an elbow, those always break. You always wanna replace those when you're doing the intake gasket because those are gonna break on you. There is another one of these elbows down here below the tensioner right there. And you wanna replace that one as well. Take the extra time and take the tensioner off and replace that one. Overall, this job isn't that hard. Because it's a 3800, these are pretty easy to do. Um, the valve cover gaskets also leak in this area. You might have oil dripping down, so make sure you take care of those while you're doing that as well. Number two, the pressure control solenoid. It's actually located in the transmission. And what you're gonna find is a harsh shift, normally from first to second. Most of the time, it's just the pressure control solenoid, which is located in the side cover of the transmission. The transmission technically doesn't even need to come out to actually do this job. You need to drain the fluid out, take the side cover off, put the solenoid in, put it back together, and you should be good to go. It is a pretty big job. There's a lot of labor involved in doing this, but it's cheaper than the transmission. Number three, the rear air ride shocks. Now this vehicle has already been converted to a coil over shock like this one. And the reason why they converted these over is because those air shocks are expensive and they don't last very long. Number four, front wheel bearings. You may notice a growling noise while you're going down the road and it may change when you turn left to right. And it kind of sounds like either a helicopter or a jet plane. To check these out, you can raise the front of the vehicle Grab the wheel on the top and the bottom and give it a shake. See if you see any play there. And then also grab the coil spring up here and spin the tire. And if you feel major vibrations in the coil spring, most likely it's in that wheel bearing. Number five, the blower motor, which like most vehicles, it's underneath the glove box. To get access to it, you just remove the cover underneath here and it's right under here. If you find that it's not working, you could take a hammer and just give it a tap and see if you can get it to work again. That's just a temporary fix. You're gonna have to replace it. And it's always a good idea to replace the resistor as well whenever the blower went. So there's our top five problems for this Buick LeSabre. Overall, these are great cars. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.